Welcome to another episode of Coaching Football with Brian Clee. Episode 7, time to wrap up the mini-series on Defending the Full LST. Spent the last six episodes talking about stopping the run play and where the T really, really tests the discipline of your players and how well you've prepared them as a coach um, is the play-action pass. They, they've stopped the trap and the power and the keep and, and the counter and all of a sudden play 35 of the game here comes the play action pass and they're just checking to see if you're awake or not so stay alert and check out how we go about trying to defend the full house t play action passing game and a quick recap of our defensive philosophy and scheme we are a two high team we play matchup zone coverages we really believe it lets us get 11 defenders to defend every play both from a run and in this episode a pass standpoint. Uh, firmly believe every sound defense is going to simultaneously account for all receiving threats either by man-to-man -man coverage or zone coverage that's limiting the defenders run pass conflicts. So for example our corner is the force player he's got outside leverage in the run he's going to cover the flats and, and the outside receiving threats in our cover too. Our safety fits in the alley and he's going to cover the deep half. He can be a little slower to the alley. We re really don't need him in the run fit. He's just that bonus guy that the defense can never account for. And then lastly, the inside linebackers fill inside gaps, so they're responsible for covering the inside zones, the hook to curls. As I just got done saying, we'll be cover two almost all the time against two tight ends. Um, you see the alignment, that's that's probably what it is. Every once in a while we'll, we'll roll and, and bring a corner if, if we've got something in a scouting situation that, that tells us we want to do that. So the safety is keying that tight end to the halfback, the free safety here. The corner... He'll have some vision on that tight end, but his primary key ends up being that halfback. So what typically happens when T teams go keep pass here, a uh, simple arrow to the flats and a flag or corner, the release of the halfback ends up being wider than what it would normally be on power. So the corner gets alerted to sink, and he's not going to come up to the, the flat route until that ball is thrown. We're, we're kind of inviting them to throw that flats. We really want to get a double on that flag because the T teams, when they're, when they're calling this, like most run-oriented teams, they're calling it to hit that, that deep flag. They want to get that 15 to 20 yard gainer that you were maybe sleeping on and they can just throw a grenade out there and it gets caught for a touchdown. The safety is going to keep inside leverage and stay on top. The corner will play underneath and have outside leverage. And again, they'll break on the ball the second that it is thrown to the flats. Um, we can't expect our nine technique. That inside release is a lot like a down block. So if he gets that, we can't expect him in the coverage at all. He's coming down. He's looking to spill something. That guard's going to get him log blocked most of the time. However, our Mac linebacker, our middle linebacker, he ends up seeing all these pass reads. There is a very good chance that he'll put his foot in the ground, push to his hook curl, and, and either pick up the backside drag or maybe push all the way out to the flats as the play develops, especially if the quarterback's rolling out. Um, he can either match that in the flats, he might hang out here long enough to pick up the drag, or he can become a bonus guy and, and pressure the quarterback. Our backside will linebacker, he's got all run reads right now. I don't expect him to cover the pass. You, you can't, otherwise he's going to be slow on the, the 50 some plays that the T team's running the ball. He sees both the guard pulling, he sees that near back on his side of his way. He's looking to fit the opposite A gap. Assuming our, our nose closes that, he's gonna find a open B gap more or less. 
And we tell them, once you get into the line of scrimmage, just become an extra pass rusher. Our corner, um, ideally he's going to, again, he's primarily keying that halfback. He has some vision on that tight end. When that halfback goes away, his job in the run game is to start searching for that fullback, which is really important when we get to boot pass here in a little bit. Um, I wouldn't be terribly upset if on a first or second down, he comes up and matches that fullback. If it's third and long, fourth and long, I'm expecting him to pick up that tight end drag and, and at least be on the back shoulder of it. Backside safety, he is keying that tight end to near back. He gets that tight end inside releasing. He's going to keep melting to the middle, making sure that the tight end doesn't take off on a post. I'll be quick with the keep switch pass because it's, it's very similar to the keep. The big difference, obviously, is the halfback is running the flag. The tight end is going to run down inside, typically uh, pivot and punch the MAC linebacker, the inside linebacker, and then run the flat route. So once again, we want the corner, as he sees that halfback go extra wide in this case. He's definitely not blocking the six or nine technique. He's going to sink and play underneath and outside leverage on a flag route. The safety, he's keying that tight end. He's, he sees a, a pass release read. He's going to be a little bit slow, and his eyes are going to go to the halfback. He's matching the flag uh, with inside leverage and trying to stay on top. Our Mac linebacker now in this case, I, I really expect him to push to the flats that that tight end hooks up on him and he typically will match that and then the backside plays it out very similar the, the will is going to see guard and halfback flow away he's fitting opposite a and going to become a pass rusher our corner again we're, we're not going to be mad if he hooks up on that fullback because you'll see in the coming up boot play he he might need to and then the backside safety, he's keying that tight end and near back. Um, the tight end is on a drag. If, if he sees the drag get hooked up, he, he can drop off and, and just look for extra work. He's ultimately worried about protecting the deep half in the post again. Okay, boot pass. So now, if we ever get an outside release by our tight ends, we end up getting our six and nine techniques to typically run with him. So what should happen here, that feels like a reach block. He's going to step out. He's going to stretch the reach block because that's his key. His key's telling, I'm, I'm reaching you. That's the read. I try and set the edge and, and control that tight end. And then as I realize it's pass, keep myself alive. I can become a bonus player, press into, push into the flats, or I can become a quarterback contained player. Um, we, I guess I'd prefer that guy. Most down in distances, I, I, I want him coming up, making sure the quarterback throws the ball. Because, once again, this match ends up being really similar to the last match that I just got done talking about. Corners keying halfback with a little vision on the tight end. Halfbacks away. He might start his shuffle for, for cutback, and the second he does, he sees that fullback coming back. He sees the tight ends, outside release. He knows to put his foot in the ground, sink, and he is playing inside leverage, and he will come up to the flats after the ball is thrown, especially in a long yardage situation. Safety's key in that tight end. It's a fast read here, outside release. He's vertical. I'm going to go match. I've got inside and on top leverage. Play side will linebacker should be fastball. That, that guard pulls out here. Um, we've had one team, Delton Kellogg, has, has influenced us with this on the back. And he goes and matches it, the pull. And the, the time our guy didn't trust that pull, it, it was quarterback keep, and, and they ended up being just a couple inches short of a first down if if the quarterback does one extra set of uh, squats during the year they, they would have got that first down um, backside Mac linebacker his his action at him and especially his, his 
offensive line keys. That read is pass. He is going to step up. He's going to end up having that tight end cross his face. And our guys, a lot of time, will start to run with that, especially, um, again, long yardage situations. It's the third or fourth and long. We're really expecting to help cover that. Um, and that, that drag is actually probably the, the weak spot of this coverage right now. The corner, once again, can drive down on it and, and definitely make a tackle, has good leverage for a tackle. That, that Mac linebacker is going to probably be a step slow on all of it. And our outside linebackers, they're not going to sink deep enough, typically, to, to match that. That's going to be open if both that tight end and the quarterback end up being on the same page. They're going to at least have a shot at completing the ball. I'm, I'm pretty confident we're going to get a tackle, but they could easily get that first down pickup. And then backside, safety is keying the tight end. We're cover two again. Tight end, inside release, probably. Um, if that Mac linebacker gets hooked up on the drag there at, at all, that safety knows he can melt to the middle and, again, keep leverage on something threatening the post. That's something that if you're a cover two or cover four team, you, you're teaching your safeties that all the time in your coverage. That's something he's used to doing. Uh, if, if that breaks off at the linebacker level and, and goes horizontal, safeties are taught, put their foot in the ground, get depth, keep inside leverage on a post route. Backside corner, there's there's no excuse at all. His key is that halfback. That halfback steps wide. He's going to keep uh, outside leverage and preferably stay on top. If he realizes the safety's gone and there's no help, ideally he works across to inside leverage, and that's something our DB coach, um, I'm pretty sure he, he, he coaches that up. It's my head coach, Joe Stevens. Um, those, those guys eventually work to get back in phase and in, in, in front, um, inside leverage on, a, on any post. And now the first film clip, our six technique, outside linebacker, excellent player again for us. Um, case of great player makes you look like a, a better coach. You're going to see him. He thinks this is a reach block for a second. He's going to do a great job throwing a strike here, controlling him on the line of scrimmage. Big strike. Feels like a reach block. Starts to work outside a little bit. You can see backside, our backside corner, He his back went away. He's looking for that fullback fake. Backside safety, his key. That is a block read. He knows he's not going to be threatened by that tight end. He's looking to be a bonus guy. Um, play side corner puts his foot in the ground because that tight end finally slipped inside. He's no longer blocking. He might continue on some sort of vertical route. And, and the corner has picked up his halfback who's going immediately to the flats. He knows he needs to go batch it. Everything's matched that that tight end. Now there's definitely a small window there, but the quarterback's throwing back across his body. Actually, not a great route by that kid. And we've got our backside corner, our backside safety, and our frontside safety all triangled around him. If if that ball did get completed, it's going to be tackled for about a seven yard gain, and there's no chance throwing the flats here. Great finish by our outside linebacker. Let you see it one time, just play it through. Great strike. Outside linebacker stays active. We match things in the back end and come up with the sack. End zone view real quick. Just great job pursuing the ball. And, and we get to make that sack because our secondary does their job. So now, um, again, another keep pass to the bottom of the screen here. This is our other outside linebacker, uh, Zach Lake. He's, he's playing Division Three football at Finlandia. He was on a called squeeze, so he doesn't get surface on that tight end. 
punches the tackle, and that tackle is saying this is a reach block. So fight the reach, keep surfing outside, and make sure the quarterback pulls up. Uh, the back end. This is a fourth and eight. You saw our corner kind of bail right away. He, he's expecting pass and fast balls it. Tight ends vertical, halfbacks out immediately, avoiding our outside linebacker. Our backside corner, he's searching again for that fullback. Great eye discipline out of our backside safety. He's, he's peeking at his tight end and he's hooking up. He's making sure the backside six doesn't run this down. Ball gets thrown to the flats. And here's our corner. Almost makes the play. He he that's what I was talking about. He is sinking, making sure there's a bunch of air under the football if they throw that flag route, which lets the safety stay inside and on top in case the flag ever turns into a post. Once the ball is thrown, break on it and make just a little better play. And he might be going to the house because that's a very, very, very quick kid for us. And at first, it looked like this is going to be wide open. And to the quarterback, it certainly did. And that almost turned into a pick six. Peek at the end zone. Watch the number 33, the outside linebacker on the left. Down inside, reach block. Keep surfing outside. Make sure the ball pulls up. And I like our chances at a pick six if we hold on to that. And and this is again end of uh, middle middle of like a third quarter. We're up by quite a bit of a bit. This is our backup safety in this situation. Fastball in that flag route, staying inside and on top. Big play. This is fourth and sixteen. This same team. They um, they got us on a boot pass earlier, I believe, to the front side tight end. And their best ball player is the left half pick. And this is probably the play that they're coming to. Um, we've got a linebacker going. Just a great play by both teams. And we completely match everything in the back half, force the quarterback to throw it. And we get off the field. To, to try and put together a game-winning uh, drive. Let's check the coverage. Safety gives uh, another two yards of cushion. So right now, his tight end's blocking. That's his, his key and his read is a tight end block. So his eyes are now going to the halfback. That's his reaction off that. The safety is keying that near halfback. He's coming right at him. At first, he's probably thinking I'm the point of attack but that guy stays vertical I'm gonna be outside leverage I'm gonna feed it to my safety who's inside leverage and when we get to the end zone view well actually right there shows you we've got that completely bracketed not a lot of, lot of room to squeeze the ball in there Love the pressure we get up front. Here we go. So right now, I, I like our leverage. Outside, inside, and on top. Taking away the post. Starts to work hard. Could have a little better leverage here. Corner got a little bit lost. It'd be nice if he's outside. The leverage of the safety is outstanding. He's inside. Linebacker forces the throw. We break it up. Kid doesn't come down with the catch. We'll watch the other side real quick. Real clear read off the key for the, the safety. That tight end is vertical. I'm going to match it. Be nice again if the corner puts his foot in the ground and keeps outside leverage here. Not that there would have been an easy way to get the ball there. So I believe this is actually the same pass. Yes, it is. Okay. So again, safety is is walked up a little tight, um, but.
but he's keying that tight end. Corner's keying that near back. He'll have some vision on that tight end. Other safety is keying tight end to, to the halfback, and the corner's keying the halfback with a little vision on that tight end. Tight end is vertical, and, and I don't mind right now that that corner's seeing a fake inside, so he's frozen for a second. But the, the safety, his eyes are great. He's going to have inside leverage. Backside, um, our outside linebacker actually picks off what was going to be the backside drag or post by the halfback. And now this is uh, me... Uh, again, in the preview or the, the playbook part of this, talked a little bit about our guys are, are coached to adjust their leverage. Um, my head coach, Co Joe Stevens, does, does a great job with the, the DBs, his position group. He's going back to, he's an all-state basketball player, um, ended up, his name's Zach Goodline, ends up, uh, he's currently a Division One basketball player at, at Oakland and he's playing basketball at this point. He's making sure they, they got to throw the perfect lob. Our corner, because he saw his near half back up inside and he thought it was power for a second, he's actually coming up and going to help pressure the quarterback. It'd be nice, again, third and nine, drop off a little bit, make sure the quarterback breaks the line of scrimmage and then come up. But our, our safety does his job, covers his deep half. And the kid almost makes a circus catch. Luckily, they ran out of real estate there. And huge play. This is right before the half. This this is a, one of those examples of big wins by the defense that, that don't look like spectacular plays, but in the course of the game, they're third and nine. They're now fourth and nine. They're going to settle for a field goal. That is a defensive win. Real quick end zone view. And again, just enough. Make sure we push it out of bounds. Way to stay active and just compete. Um, do want to talk about, just because I, I always highlight consistent reads, cons consistent um, techniques. Right now, outside linebacker keyed tight end down block. He's stepping down inside because he's got a spill of power or a counter coming at him. He's going to get logged, but we coach him. All right, after inside the kick out, run the hoop and get back outside. And on top of that, even if he never made it back outside, our inside linebacker is over the top clean. If our inside linebacker would have trust his, his key a little bit more, his key is that play side guard. That guard pulls out. If he just goes as hard as he can and, and trusts the read that he, he saw. I mean, he's stepping out right now. He peeks back inside for a second. If he trusts that and runs that hard, he's making this quarterback pull up a little sooner. Our corner probably doesn't need, feel the need to come up and help at all then. And maybe we get a pick or a, or a sack. And it's high school football. <laughs> Anytime you get a field goal to be a little bit longer, it might not be good. All right, here we go. Some boot pass to the top of the screen. Third and long situation. So everyone's fast balling, um, some sort of play action in the, the secondary. Our corner. What did his halfback do? Right there. Halfback's away. So he starts searching for the fullback. You can see his eyes are in there right now. He never finds the fullback, but he ends up, he's slow enough because he's searching for that fullback. He knows he's got cutback counter. He's going to hook up a little bit on the tight end and keep sinking. Our safety is already off the screen because the read from his key is, is I'm vertical. Safety continues to sink. He's getting vision on the entire... Oh, that's the corner. I meant my bad. <laughs> Cover two, coach. Uh, corner continues to sink. Has vision on the whole thing. And there's not a lot of room to fit that in. And our corner safety makes a heck of a play.
And, and nice pass rush here. Again, this is our outside linebackers. We're in a six technique. We get outside release. We got hands on it. And now off of that, this tackle's giving me more or less a reach block. So I'm going to have outside contain on it and make sure that quarterback has to throw that ball early if he doesn't want to get sacked. And we did come down with that. It's not just because the safety called it. Once again, we get both guys sinking. We've got the leverage we want inside and on top by the safety, under, underneath and outside by the corner. He's ready. He can break up to the flats if the ball is thrown there. Real small window to put it in there. And, I mean, the safety probably had an NFL catch. Other side, you see that drag route. We don't do a great job of completely matching it necessarily. But if it gets thrown, like I said in the playbook uh, discussion at the start, that safety is going to be able to come up, make a tackle. Our corner, after the ball is thrown, going to be able to come make a tackle, and, and our backside linebackers pursuing for it. Okay, this was not uh, on the um, the playbook portion of the video. However. Recover two, that is a vertical release for this safety. That is a vertical release on the top of the screen for that safety. The tight end gets maybe held a little bit by our inside linebacker. He, he's used to getting hands on that tight end. Our outside linebacker makes his release go inside a little bit. So our, our linebackers are able to hook up. He didn't hold him. Not a chance. No. And the, the quarterback, he, they're counting on our safety supporting the run too fast. And we get the ball picked off. Great example of being flat-footed at about 7 or 8 yards. Once again, um, another play-action seam pass. Um, this is a good example of, number one, just a really good ball player. Again, that, that's the Division One basketball player. Um, and then also find and work. Third and 12. So we should be fastballing a, a play action pass situation. Our safety on the top side of the screen, he sees his tight end block. So his key is giving him a run read. His eyes should be going to the halfback. He never gets his eyes there. Actually, an interesting play design. The halfback that they faked a dive to, or, or maybe it's a lead on belly, he's now going to go vertical. Ideally, the safety picks that up, turns, runs with it, keeps inside leverage like we've been talking about. However, so even though this should have been a touchdown, backside safety is key. His tight end is definitely still blocking. Melt to the middle and, and protect the middle of the field protect a, a, a post crossing from the other side or something like that. Keeps on going. Ends up putting himself in leverage, inside leverage. Picks the ball, and we're off and running. One more time, just let you watch it full speed. Block, I can melt middle. Pick up the only vertical left. We're going the other way. Uh, this the safety had quite a night. Look at the the mess in the middle of the field there. Uh, real 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 competitive ball game with Delton Kellogg. We've gone back and forth every year and, and have a bunch of one score games. Um, near the end of the game, so we we know pass is coming. We we should be making a play here. Right now, his tight end is down inside, so he's he's looking for the next bit of work. Um, Protect, the, again, the middle of the field the best you can. Um, find a halfback or something coming out on post. Backside safety. His tight end, I believe, they're in a wing set. His tight end 
is going to be out, so he's looking for the next threat, the, the halfback. His key is telling him it's a pass for sure. He's got to protect the middle half, the deep half. He turns, and he's now matched on him. And we've got two guys on ultimately the post route that they're trying to throw. And that's, I mean, that's your normal, like, cover two, split safety beater, put a post in the middle of the two. It, when you get those guys coached up, he sits back there and plays center field, and we pick it off to seal the game. One coaching point for you younger coaches. Uh, um, this, we, this is this kid's second game at corner, and the, the first time he's played the tee. Um, yell at your guy to get him backed up about four or five yards. This is on us. This coach is like, this is past situation big time. It's third and 11. And he should be keying that wing. That's pass big time. I mean, they, they have something open. We're going to run it down. But that that's definitely a small issue. And it, it's a 100% alignment. So that's going to wrap up episode 7. If you've missed episodes 1 through 6 about um, an overview of the full house T, what it looks like, why it's hard to defend, um, and then videos breaking down how we go about trying to defend some of the run schemes, check the descriptions down below. Look forward to seeing you again. As always, guys, if you have questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Check me out and follow me on Twitter at Coach Klee. Um, don't forget to su subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. And if you have uh, anything that maybe requires a longer response, hit me up at CoachBrianKlee at gmail.com. Thanks, as always, for tuning in. See you again.